Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, these are the gene stillers that I I did. I did for Christmas actually, and I, I mentioned them in my my first video on the my workstation. But I thought I'd give you a a, a different look at them. Uh, not much to them except for some simple converting. Uh, as you can see on every single gene stealer, it's uh, I don't know if you can get a good not a good view but uh, I all I always use the, uh, the the scything talons on all of them it's just a squad um, I don't know if I'm gonna add extra you know, extended carapace to them or not but uh, that's what I'm doing I'm leaving them as is right now so they're fairly cheap cheaper squad uh, I used I swapped out the regular the big ones the big three pronged rending talons instead of using the uh, the hand like looking ones that are really small like found on the these gene stealers uh, like the regular ones in the kit sorry I can't get a better zoom on that but uh, that's uh, I decided to do that because I'm not a big fan of them as they're like really small and they look pretty puny can't really imagine them tearing through you know armor and flesh but the big three prong ones I really can and uh, and I'm really big fan of them, even for uh, using them on like warriors and stuff instead of the uh, five hand ones, the five finger ones. Uh, they just look more uh, Xenos than that. Um, assembly, I, I just kept. That's just the simple conversions. Uh, nothing to them. I just kept standard. Just try to vary the poses. Uh, out of all of them, my favorite is definitely this one, just because the hands are like behind its back so it looks like it's really sprinting forward and uh, I thought that was just the the coolest pose so far um, there was one now that I'm looking at it that I really wish I had done a little bit differently uh, actually I wish I could do like one where just to be able to get uh, both of them sort of like the same direction like uh, if you look at this guy he's got his talon off to the side here you can see I really wish that I had sort of taken a scything talon similar to this guy's left claw and then angle it the same way. It would have uh, sort of made a dramatic effect on that. Uh, I haven't put any, glued any of these to the bases or anything because I don't know if I'm going to be fiddling around with them. So um, that's pretty much my gene stealer squad. I, I think I did a pretty good job um, cleaning all the mold lines off and getting, making sure everything is a uh, pretty clean but uh that's a squad of 12 you know so hopefully everything assembly is coming all right uh just a quick one the gonk assembly is coming up i got 16 of the termagons gone now uh this is just the pile for four more of them so hopefully i'll have that squad of 20 um doing them in squads of 20 because of the uh endless swarm apocalypse data sheet because eventually when I'm done assembling everything and having everything painted uh, I'll have plenty way above, well above 3,000 points probably closer to 4,000 so that's uh, my swarm right now and uh, I'll talk to you guys later, bye